the Power MACD trading algorithm has great potential for future gains. I have coded this trading algorithm into a Python script for use with my trading bot and got the following hypothetical results. The great thing about this trading algorithm is that it contains multiple entry and exit rules to test out so that you can find out for yourself which rules are the most successful for your preferred crypto pairs. I only used the following indicators with their default settings. The MACD of course, the simple moving average, the RSI indicator and the stochastics indicator. The trading script is also prepared for you to do hyperparameter optimization on these default settings as well. However, for this video I only use the default settings that you can also find on TradingView. As for the entry and exit rules, you have a plethora of choices here. I coded 11 entry rules and 14 exit rules. So if you were to test all these combinations with only one entry and one exit rule, then you already have over 150 combinations to test out. Now the nice thing about this strategy file is that you can also use hyperparameter optimization to find out which combination of entry and exit rules are the most successful. You can determine which rules you want to take into consideration in the optimization run by using these optimization switches. False means that this rule will not be used and true will mean that they will be included in the search for the best combination. Now for this specific demonstration I've chosen to only use entry rule 2 and exit rule 3 in the strategy itself. I can enable this by setting the default parameters to true and false means that this is not used in the strategy. The actual entry and exit rules are at the bottom of the file and entry rule 2 only uses the RSI, slow stochastic and MACD histogram for the entry rules for long and short trading. And exit rule 3 only uses the MACD histogram as the rule that says when to exit a trade. Let's find out what the results are when I test a trading strategy that only uses D2 rules. This fully working trading bot algorithm can be downloaded from my Patreon site for your own tests and verification. And of course for your own trading bot as well. Now if you want to support me in another way and you don't want to spend a single penny, then please join my affiliates community on the new Bybit.eu by using the code GETBYBIT as a referral. Or if you are already a Bybit.eu member, then you can also add the code 136780 in the Join Affiliates Community page on your Bybit's account info page. It doesn't cost you anything extra, but it's very much appreciated by me. In this case I will use the Fractrate Trading Bots backtesting engine to find out what the performance was in the past of this strategy. This way I can find out if it has a chance to also be successful in the future. But be aware that past performance does not guarantee future success, it only gives you a sense of what it might do in the future. Now you can see here that these two rules already have a very high total profit over the last 5 years and on the 1 day time frame. Let's upload this to my backtest analyzer site to get a better understanding of its performance. The win rate is only 36%, which is slightly below the average of trend trading strategies what I tested so far, but the profit factor and the mean profit make up for these win rates. If you were to get a good trade, and then it wins well and will make up for these small losses. The equity chart confirms what I just said. Its win rate is not high, but if you catch a winner it makes up for all the losses. And you can see that here by these huge mountain peaks of pure profits. And if we take a look at which pairs are the cause of this, then you can see that the tremendous pump of Pepe was apparently caught in the dataset. And Tia cast the highest single trade loss of all. Now by adding some additional trading rules or adding your own favorite indicator to the mix, it's highly likely that you can filter out the bad trades even more and make this strategy's win rate go up and more stable. As said, you can test out more than 150 combinations with the ELCA code itself, and I will not even say how many combinations you can make if you start to combine multiple entry and exit rules here, because you just wouldn't believe me. But just ask your favorite language model and you will find out yourself. And if you did find the magic combination, then please add it here to the comment section below, so that the whole community can benefit from this. For now, thanks for watching, please give a like and subscribe if you haven't done so, and I will see you in the next video. Goodbye!